Hello everyone, welcome back. I've um, skipped a few days because I did a lot of stuff off camera that you really don't want to see. But it's mostly just moving shit about. But I'll show you that in a second. I've got my final thoughts on NPCs as well, which I'm going to go over today. It's, uh, yeah, may as well start now. Right, so basically, the idea, the idea of NPCs. Um, be great if you ask me it would be great hard for them to actually achieve in a way that would feel suitable for the game because I mean Project Zomboid you, you you're doing it more for I, I, I use this term like realism you know what I mean but you couldn't really get away with doing NPCs realistically in this game they'd have to be implemented in a way like the chopper where it's like an event and they spawn in near your base with like backpacks of goodies and whatever and then they like attack you the player or wherever you are and then you you if you win you get the goodies if you die you die obviously that's the only way i can see it being introduced the way i'd like it to be introduced for example I mean, the perfect scenario would be when you start the game, like, say, every house, or not every house, but, like, a good selection of houses or buildings have one to two people in them, whether they're hostile or whether they're not, then they, while you're also trying to start the game, they're also trying to survive and start the game, and then they'll develop whether or not they're going to be, like, hostile or neutral throughout the, the the days that they survive while you're also obviously trying to survive they're looting houses themselves killing zombies themselves maybe they're starting to become hostile and fight each other as well as you that I mean that'd be perfect so start the game it's just madness out on the streets because there's random people running around zombies going after everyone including you it'd just be chaos the first few days would be madness which would be great, but with the way the zombies are in this game, there's no way in hell anyone other than a human player could survive. Like, more than five minutes. It's it's too much. Because, let, let's be fair, if they put an NPC in this game, they'd use a gun, and as soon as they use a gun, you get zombies. If they don't use a gun, then, I mean... What's the point? I mean, you, you, they're, they're going to use guns. They'd have to make it so they'd potentially use guns, but maybe don't use guns. But I don't know. I think PvP, like if another survivor come along, you, I, I could just imagine it being more gunfights than it would running up to each other and trying to kill each other with crowbars. But for them to make an AI that's capable of showing restraint I suppose knowing when to use a gun and not to use a gun like ideally they just fight with crowbars and when they attack say you or other players they then would use guns but then as soon as they use a gun they're going to get a horde of zombies to turn up as soon as the horde of zombies turn up they're going to just keep shooting their guns I mean I'm, this is going by like State of Decay I don't know if anyone's ever played that but that's the only game I can really compare it to in the sense of having other survivors. Not that this game has survivors, but it has like both hostile and friendly survivors in State of Decay. But I think the only way that that works is, well, while they're not on screen, they're basically invincible. It's only when you're near them that they then are technically in game because they're not on screen they don't load up so that's when they'll then start shooting and attracting zombies i've seen it before like i've walked up to where the hostiles are you've got close enough to them to pop up on screen they'll start shooting the zombies then start attacking them and they normally get fucking wiped out so it's like clearly if if they were still in the game while i was two miles away at my base they'd have died ages ago because they'll just shoot their fucking guns and the zombies would have killed them but if you did that in this game, that takes away from the realism. You'd want them 
that even though I'm here, they could be, for example, all in these houses, but they'll be in there now, I presume trying to survive, because you'd want them to have to eat, you'd want them to drink, so they go through the same problems you go through. It'd be hard, it's, it'd be too, I think it'd be too hard for the developers to implement an AI that's smart enough to, like, learn carpentry, to be able to bar barricade their buildings, or build walls, farm, do all this, and, like, sa like scavenge Well, choosing whether to be hostile or not. But I'd really like to see, like, AI players in the game, but I just don't know how. Other than, like I say, with them doing like an event like they do with the chopper. <clears throat> Sorry, just had a drink. Um, where, like, you, you pick a, an amount of times that other players will pop up. And then they'd say, like, they'd spawn in, say, here. And then they'd run up to your base with, like, backpacks of goodies, whatever, and try and kill you. But then that takes away from half the fun. Half the fun is you want to know that you could, in theory, walk along here at some point, and come along a come along a street, and there's a shit ton of dead bodies, and you're like, okay, so there's clearly someone around here because I haven't been here yet. Are they good? Are they bad? You know, I like that idea of ooh. But how they'd implement the um implement that into the game. <clears throat> it's just just for the sheer amount of zombies I mean you've seen in the past videos how much a bit of noise can attract zombies and all that normally happens is you make more noise like a person would normally think oh I'm fucked here and just run away but an AI is going to most likely stay there and just keep fighting so it's a bit <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. I would really like AI, like NPC players. But then that's when you just go online. But then if you go online, you're guaranteed pretty much, unless you're on there with people you know that are okay. They're all, you just got to class everyone as hostile. I mean, Daisy's like that. On Daisy, you literally shoot first because everyone's, everyone's a fucking asshole. It's the problem. At least with AI players, you've got a chance that they might not be. With humans, unless you actually know them, you'd probably just class them all as fucking assholes. But yeah, anyway, that's my, my thoughts on NPCs. I would like to see them. I can't see how they'd put them in the game in a way that would feel fitting. That's the best way to describe it. Fitting for Project Zomboid. But they, I have faith that they could, but for me, I, I mean, I don't make games, but it just seems like a hell of a challenge for them. But it would be good. Because, like, especially if, like I say, when they have the game starts, and if there's people everywhere, as well as zombies, it would be chaos on the streets. People trying to kill each other, people trying to not kill each other, people trying to just run and hide. But yeah, it'd be a... It'd be crazy. Right, so anyway, as you can see, I've moved over here now. I've got my shit set up, so I've got this set up for my food. Got my fridge. I need to get another freezer if I can. I need to bring the rest of the water butts around. Water butts, bloody. Water, bloody. Fucking bottle things. All my bits and bobs. I, I still need. I've, I've been. I think it's this is the fifth day, so I did five days, I think, off camera. And it was just knocking down walls, moving shit, bringing stuff over. I sorted some stuff out, but because I've got so much stuff, I haven't fully did it. Plus, it's surprising how quick your character gets bored and depressed while you're moving stuff. So then I'd have to go off and read books. Right, so yeah, i got just still loads of just junk dotted around. So this is my like storage area. Or one of them. Got my medical bit. 
whatever bits of medical stuff I could find. This, I think, I don't know if I got it set up yet, but I'm going to probably have as like clothes. So I could put the helmets in there, the like body stuff in there, leg stuff in there, like shoes in there, and blah, 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 etc. Obviously, this is all the guns that I've come across so far. I've emptied some of the stuff, but I think some of the tents have still got bits and bobs in. And this bit I haven't got to yet, just because it was surprising how much it bloody takes out your character doing all this, plus dismantling everything. But it's got, I mean, I could take you around. This would probably just be extra storage, like late game if I get that far. And I've just scavenged so much stuff to just last you. Then it'll just pile it up in here. I need to barricade all the windows, put curtains on them. I'll probably barricade those doors there, but I don't know. I know you can lock them. <clears throat> it's nice to have a bit of extra security, but it's also nice to have places to jump out of if you need to. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing in here. It's it, it doesn't seem like much, but it's surprising how much it took, how long it took. Plus, out here I've cleared, got my gardening stuff all ready. Just haven't got round to dig in. I would have liked to have, but it's just it's crazy. Um, I wanted to do some wood cutting as well, but that never really happened. It's been a couple of days, so I'm trying to remember what else I did. I think, I think, I did I ah yeah, and I did a tiny bit into my mechanics, so I've started take, taking apart some of the cars down the front. Yeah, plus reading the books. So it, ha it has taken some time because I got my metal working up. And I wanted to make sure I um, kept getting good experience. So I'd, as soon as I'd hit the next level, I'd read the book. So it all took all the time adds up. But that's basically what I want. All my stuff in there. Then eventually I'll cover this in wood, I expect. Or well, it depends. I mean, metal would be lovely, but it just seems like a waste of metal. Um, there's still some more bits and bobs. I just gotta find somewhere to dump all this shit. But yeah, I mean, it's. I'd have liked to have done more, but. It, like I say, it's surprising how quick the day goes. Um, and how quick your sanity drops when you're doing little chores around the base. I still need to get rid of all these bloody bodies as well. I've still got tons of stuff to do. But at least I've got the how to use generators now, which is the main the main thing. But yeah, I just wanted to finish up talking basically about the um, NPCs, which I've done now, obviously. Um, like I say, it would be a good idea. I have faith they could, but I doubt if it'd end up being the way that I'd myself love to see it. It'd just be an event, I'd have thought, more than them actually in-game. But you never know. I have been surprised by this uh, game multiple times. Right, so I've got to think of what I'm going to do now. I will, because I will, I'll finish the mechanics, because that's too... I know this game has a lot of stuff that people would consider boring. And getting that up to level 2, I think people would consider boring. So I will do that off screen. Oh, I keep pressing escape. It's because I've been playing that bloody... Pell World thing. Pal World, whatever you want to fucking call it. Right, I do, there is one thing I need to do. I need to finish off um, what I think about, well, well, it's in my head. I need to cut a hole in the fence. I gotta remember where I fucking put everything now. Cut a hole in the fence so I can fish. It seems like something you'd be simple, but if I don't remember it now, I'll bloody forget. Right, sledgehammer. I could dismantle it with the blowtorch, but I just can't be fucked. It's not with the amount of metal work I'll be getting from everything else. It's not worth it. So I'll just knock the fucker through. But yeah, I'd really love NPCs in this game. It'd be fucking brilliant. I say that. Don't get me wrong. If we had them, 
I'd be pissed right off because I guarantee you I'd die like a bitch every five minutes because I'm going to cut... I mean, think it, it, they'd be great, but I think as soon as you get shot, you're just dead, even if you survive the bullet. Like, you're... Like, no one gets very good first aid skill in this game. I mean, if you get first aid skill up, that means you're playing not badly, but, like, you've been very lucky, you know? You've done a lot of things and got and been lucky in, in escaping them type of thing, you know? Um, ideally, you'd have... You'd want no first aid skill because you've never needed to use it. But then if you don't have first aid skill, I can't see you being able to take a fucking bullet out and heal yourself up well. So it's a... Uh, I think if you get shot, you're just going to be fucking dead. But I... I don't know. That'd be interesting, then. You'd have to just well, go around purposely, like, hurting your hands on stuff. Like, purposely jumping through broken glass windows with the glass in there just to cut your hands up, just to get your first aid skill up. I mean, you could do that now if you wanted to, just to still get it up, but I don't see the point. Unless once you have full first aid, you get a heightened chance of surviving zombie bites, but that seems like just not going to happen. But yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. I think bullets <laughs> kill people for a reason. So, I mean... <laughs> right. So, we have checked all of the... I need to start crossing this shit off, really. Would I say I've checked it enough to cross it off, though? That is a good fucking question. Probably not. And I can't remember what I have and haven't properly been to. Uh, right now. I do need to start crossing things off, but I will wait because I can't remember what it is I have and haven't been to. Yeah. Okay. So, I will take probably another episode, maybe two, I might not, I might do it on camera at some point, but I do need to start farming at some point, and finish off the bits and bobs. Um, I need to go and get that trailer as well. Ooh, that might be something I can do, because that's, oh fuck me, it's going to be miles away. I'm pretty sure it was like, down here, wasn't it? But it's the only trailer I've come across. Ooh. Oh no, hang on. What was the other thing I was going to do? I was going to go get that van, wouldn't I? Yeah, I'll do the van and I'll go check out some more of this. I need to try and get my head back into this game. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about the NPCs quite a lot, so I just wanted to get it down on talk to you a lot about it. I mean, please, look, give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'm sure there's plenty of discussions out there, but I don't really look at all, all the discussions on the, um, the community board and all that community hub thing. NPCs would be great, but it's just... a lot of work, like I say. Like I've said thousands of times, and I will shut up about it. going to take a vehicle because I want to take that truck which I'm pretty sure had the keys in. <laughs> he says I need to get some food. I have been too busy to even consider doing all of this. I do need to find some more cooking pots ideally. I think I've only got about three. It's still enough, don't get me wrong. You, you need one. Ah, there you go, four. But uh the more the merrier, because once I've made like 10 stews, I usually freeze them just to give you a couple of days, otherwise you're cooking every single day. But I do need to start cooking because my f weight is going down. Oh fuck's sake, stop pressing escape. 
Um, right. Salami, fresh frozen. Yeah, take that. And I'll just have some crisps. Oh, cry, where the fuck's our duct tape? Oh yeah, this is the one I haven't properly sorted out. I did chuck just a load of shit in there. I do need to finish tweaking some of this. I do have a good, good amount of like canned goods, which is, which is obviously good. I don't want to. I sh I should really save as much of it as you can because obviously it's the stuff that hasn't got a use by date. Um, I need to start fishing. Just open the one. Yeah, um, need to start fishing really. It's just an absolute nightmare cooking. That's why I like to. I normally I basically spend a good day, half of the day, cooking it up, freezing it all, just so each day you. All you have to do is eat, because it takes so long to cook everything. By the time you've made all the stews, put like five ingredients into each of the fucking cooking pots, made like ten pots of stew, then cooked them all, made sure you get them off the bloody fire before they burn. That's like your whole day gone. So I might do, <laughs> I might do that off camera. I don't know. I don't like doing lots off of camera because I mean everything I've done off camera is something is is stuff you do if you were playing so you should see it really because if you haven't played the game you need to understand that it's not just what well, you can just run around and beat each other beat up the zombies but you won't last very long. But yeah, plus I haven't been out here in however many days so I don't know how many zombies would have turned up so I should might be making a rather big mistake. I do want to get my hot wiring skill done soon so I can get some of these other vehicles. But it will be quite a quite a chore. Alright, I got good distance on them. Did I pick up a bloody no I didn't, okay. That's alright, get why it's not a big deal. <clears throat> but yeah, this game's very fun. You've just got to understand that you you can't just have fun all the time. Some of the time you're going to have to be doing little boring chores. But that's, I mean, if you're playing this game, you're, you're into that. And it's very much worth it, in my opinion. I love this game, I don't know why, it's just something about it. I always come back to it. I just wish more people played it. This game had that that Powell Worlds like numbers. Christ, they'd be laughing. Cause I think this has like like forty odd thousand people play it on Steam, maybe, maybe fifty. Whereas that Powell Worlds in the like the millions. But I know they're playing that on the Xbox as well. And I'm pretty sure it was fucking free on the Xbox. Whereas I paid twenty five pissing pound for it. But, uh, yeah. I don't think this game should sell it well. I mean, you couldn't... I mean, you, in a way, this could be on a mobile, you know. But at the same time, it couldn't. Because the sheer amount of stuff you do in it, you, you just couldn't... Like, a, a, like an iPad or something wouldn't be able to handle all this. I don't... Well, it might, but you get some crazy games on the iPads. But um, there's just so much they'd have to 
dull down. That's the one thing I like about it. They haven't stupefied anything, if you, if you know what I mean. Dumbed it down for people. It's It's got like a steep learning curve. Or a sharp learning curve, whatever you want to call it. But, um, wait a minute. I've already done that then. Fuck me. It's been so long I forgot what I have done. Oh no, I moved it down here, didn't I? Right, um, yeah, I like the fact that it hasn't simplified itself just to make it more, um, appro appropriate, available, like, more suited to a vaster fan base, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what I mean? Like other games, you've, I've seen games in the past which used to be quite a challenge, and then the later games have become like, like for example, Fallout. That's the perfect example. Like the original Fallout was was more like this. You know, you click where you want to move your character. Graphics were old school. I mean, I thought they, I think they were brilliant. I used to love that game. Looks dated now, but 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 I mean that game had so much in it. But now you play Fallout 4. Um, and it's basically just like fucking Call of Duty, you know, let's be fair. So, they've obviously made it a bit easier to attract more people and tap into a bigger audience, which I don't always necessarily think is a good thing. Alright, you might get more people playing it, more people bought your game, you sold more copies, fair enough, but at what cost, you know? Because I do, I do like four out four. Don't get me wrong, but it's not, it's not as good as it used to be. I've still put fucking hours of my life into it. Don't get me wrong, because I love the Fallout universe, but it'll never be as good as Fallout One, Fallout Two, or Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. You know, Fallout Tactics, Brotherhood of Steel. Because you know? those, those three. Should have been fucking doing my homework. No, no, no. Too busy playing Fallout. <laughs> yeah. But back then you had to think when you played games. Now it's just point and shoot, point and fucking shoot. Right. I'm so distracted chatting that I've literally forgot what I was going to do, so I have to go back home do what I was actually going to do. Um, yeah, I think that's why I tend to go quite quiet as well, because I'm so busy concentrating and listening, I tend to go a bit quiet. Which I'm trying to sort out now by speaking up a bit, but it's also hard to tell the volume of my voice because I've got headphones on. I don't often use headphones, so I'm not used to it. But hey, we'll get there. Right. So I'm going to drive, drive around like I did last time, but just drive a bit further, I think, because... Should be okay this time, though, chopper. I've had the one chopper. in the car. Empty gas can, I may as well stick in there, I don't know if I'm going to need it. Got my salami. Yeah, so j just to quickly go back to NPCs, I mean, if you did have NPCs, they'd need to be doing things like this, for example. They'd need to be going out scavenging. Are they going to be able to sneak, or will they just be like, you know, because they're going to go in here, which is obviously going to attract him, so they'll then start fighting, which will attract more, whereas you, like, a character be like, ooh, I'll run away, they're just going to start fighting right there, um, they might even start shooting guns, which is just going to be 
So that's, that's that. I think would be the challenge that if the developers are trying to implement zombie up uh, zombies survivors into the zombie game, they would be trying. They probably would struggle trying to figure out how to have them interact with the environment, like the world, because they'd have to be quite stealthy. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not saying it's not doable. It'd just be very bloody hard. But then you just play online with people, don't you? But then, like I say, people... People... What can I say about people? Some people are lovely. I am an asshole. <laughs> See, this is where I go quiet, because I'm trying to listen. But then I forget to raise my voice back up. So I end up being like, oh shit, I can see shit, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker, shit. Or I should be like, oh shit, motherfucker, oh motherfucker, shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Rambling. Oh, bucket, I'll take that. Ping, I've never used ping. I know it's just decorative, but I don't know. It just seems, I don't know, <laughs> pointless. I get it, if, if it helped your sanity, that would be okay. Used to paint plastic walls. See, I don't know. I might just come back. I mean, it's not going anywhere, is it? But it just, I don't know. I, I can hear a fucking zombie. I don't think if it helped your sanity, then it'd be worth doing. But as far as I'm aware, it doesn't. But I've never done it to be able to say whether it does or not, so... Du -du 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 -du. I always thought you plastered your walls to get rid of the cracks off of them, but apparently it wasn't. It's you, you plaster the wooden walls, which just seems like... <laughs> I don't know. I'd want to plaster over the fucking cracks down the side of my house more than I would a wooden wall I built. still is. You could break things down to get your skills up, so it's not a total waste. That's the thing. I cross buildings off when I think I'm done with them, but I'm not really done with them, because you could still go in there and do so much more to them. Like here, you could just smell all these cabinets. There's fucking zombies coming in. You bastards. I forget which ones I have and haven't done. Which is <laughs> why you cross the buildings off your map. But then, like I say, I suppose the best, <clears throat> the best way would be to do two colours of crosses. You do like a blue one when you've got all the shit out, and the red one once you've then gone through and dismantled everything. But it just depends how much. I, thought, oh, I keep thinking that was a fucking zombie crouched over. I'm losing my bastard mind. Come on, you fucking dick. Have I been in here? Arse. Yes. Right, okay. Just trying to remember where I got to. 
metal workings. None of this rings a bell, so surely I've been in there then. Yeah, I think I've been up here. But I can't remember if it was on this game or the game I was playing before I played this one. My personal game, which is basically the same as that. Right. I'm gonna have to pause it here a second guys. I got I'll be right back, okay? Sorry about that, everyone. All right. 
Yeah, so I think I've been into this one. But I can't for the life of me remember what the hell was in there. As long as it's that one making the noise. This is good. I've come across another goddamn vehicle that I'd like to take. I, like, I don't know why I keep bothering to take so many fucking vehicles. You can only drive one at a time. But I don't need it currently because I just brought that bloody truck with me. But, uh, I don't know, I quite... a hassle, but at the same time if I get far enough away and don't get no receipt, I mean imagine that with a, with NPCs they'd be fucked. You'd like to think they'd program them in to just run at that point, but <clears throat> you don't know, do you? I mean I don't know but I mean that'd be what would be like every time they'd shoot their guns, and what they'd do is probably shoot their bloody guns but then you'd want the NPCs to shoot guns you wouldn't want them to not, otherwise what's the fucking point? I don't know. Right, but the good thing is, if all the zombies are fucking off over there towards that, then I should be able to hopefully look through some other bits and bobs quite safely, he says. Famous last words. Water cooler? I said water cooler, that's the word. And yes, it did. Now, do I take it? Because knowing my luck. I hope there's no fucking zombie down there now. Which there probably will be. Knowing my fucking luck. starting to come back to me now. That's where I found all the books. Right, right. Yes. Yes, and another vehicle that I wanted to take with me. Yes, I remember. Right, okay. The fuck do they come from? <laughs> I 
Carpentry Volume 2 book. I think I thought I had it, so I didn't take it. Maybe. I think that'd be handy at some point. I don't think there's fuck all else in here already. Oh, I bet there's the fucking keys to those cars downstairs. Oh, fucking hate being inside buildings with zombies. Stop this before I get myself fucking killed. Looking for keys for cars that I don't fucking need. Right. Stupid shit like that gets you killed. garage. So you might have some stuff that's quite good. I didn't bring any food with me. I thought I did, but clearly I fucking didn't. buildings I've already bloody done, but... Vitamins, just take the fucking vitamins. Right. Yeah, I think this 
should lead on to I'm pretty sure this is like a garage mechanics garage yeah I like taking the arcade games just for decoration but uh, I'll come back for that another time Nice if you could actually plug it in. Wait, wait. I hear noise. You can't actually play it though, can you? Oh. Oh, I might have to just take it now. <laughs> take the comic book and the magazines. Oh, fucking hell. Ugh. Um, piss is all over that idea. Sure, they don't do what I want them to. Juices for tea, is that? I don't think that's fatigue, is it? Being tired. The fatigue is the one where it's your lungs and you're like, <laughs> out of your breath. It's fatigue. Damaged the goddamn vehicle too much, otherwise I just run them all over. I have to just run them all over. Going back again, that van. Oh shit, that van was by the bloody where the alarm went off, wasn't it? Vehicle. 
that I can use. Completely forgot that that bloody van was by the the building that the alarm went off on. Right, I might still be able to get out there and take it. Sheesh. This thing's gonna be fucked to this one. Yeah, he's pretty much knackered. Ugh. You fuckers. I just need to be able to put a tiny bit of gas in there. Just enough to move it and then I can add the rest at another time. Why is it not? This guy's a dickhead. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. You can fuck off. This is a new piece of shit. Add the gas. Get in the goddamn vehicle. I was going to say, you can stop panicking now. I do want to go get some more fuel. Get rid of this thing. I hate the idea of it just being sat there with bloody fuel in it. Is it 
quiet enough for me to go in there. I mean... I would have took those two, but I don't know if it's worth the risk at the moment. I don't know. Spare engine parts, I'll take those. For a standard. <laughs> You'd hear the arcade game. Take that, you never know. Take those. Do you guys can? Zombies. Can't just leave me the fuck alone. stuff another another time. He's too tired to really be effective with his weapon, so it's I'll just get myself killed. some of these zombies out really. Which would be easier once I mean right, I need to get the get the hot wiring skill. I can hot wire some of these cars. Use these cars to clear a load of the zombies because I don't need all of these vehicles. So a good chunk of them would be good to just just massacre zombies with. Um, I do need to clear these bodies out. Before they start affecting my uh, character's mood. I got some stuff. Alright, let's put most of it in there. Except for those. Yeah, I need to try and get that trailer really, it'd be good to have a trailer that I could just fill with the gas cans. But then, <clears throat> but then you don't really need to, if you've got, if I have enough vehicles, I could just fill up the, the boots, the, um, the trunks. But I don't know, I do like having trailers, it just feels nice to have that extra bit of storage. If you ever did do a big outing somewhere. Like I say, a smart person would leave all of this and go do the shit that's far away. But, uh, the fuck that. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. Probably to nowhere. Because I think that is the literal edge of the map, so you would just go whoosh. Like whoosh. I believe you can still drive on it, it just doesn't actually have anything there. 
It's just like a street. It would just be a bridge to carry on into nothing. I think, because I've been on a road that pretty much goes into nothing. Very tired. Hassle, hungry, I can sort out. Volume 1, I was going to say, if that's Carpentry Volume 2, I'd be like, are you fucking... I'm pretty sure I don't have it, that's why I haven't read it yet. I do need to start cooking up some food. But it's going to take longer than I have left. eating the stuff that I grow, so I mean I can grow carrots, I can grow potatoes, so I'd rather eat those before I start eating things that you're never going to be able to, like corned beef, and the sardines, I mean sardines you'll catch fish, but spaghetti bolognese, you ain't going to grow spaghetti fucking bolognese. Perfect time to do it. And put you and you into a bottle of gasoline I put in there as well. Then I need to take out a shovel. for now. Um, what do I want to plant first? Some that I can get better with. Uh, let's go for carrots. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Grab a carrot. Who put one pack of carrots? Yeah, so I'm going to pretty much want to try and just get more seeds out of this. so long since I've grew crops to the point that they produce seeds because I normally just get them up as soon as I can but I've been doing that wrong because it's not the smartest way of doing it Otherwise you end up spending so much of your day just bloody cooking. Right, so that'll mean having to go a bit further 
whether I go back over to like this area or I try and go back down to here because obviously there is quite a bit down here that I didn't do Safe to say, I think most of that is done now. I could probably cross it off. <laughs> Although, I might still have a quick look because I'm not sure how much I checked it for like cooking pots and stuff I was focusing on the how to use generators magazine so <clears throat> I don't know if I've cleared cleared them as much as I would like now right unfortunately with the time there ain't much <clears throat> much I can do so I will eat my salami, and I will see what book I need to read. Obviously carpentry, but I haven't got it. Electrical, oh, I still need to finish my electrical. That's pretty close, though. I could probably dismantle all these wall clocks. Um... Yeah, because you need the level one. Tailoring. Psh, barely ever tailor at the moment. That would be late game. But even then, really. I mean, with the amount of... Um, that zombies tend to drop. It's hard to see you ever needing to really tailor. What did that put me up to? Yeah, pretty much. In the time it takes me to do my mechanics, that'll go up anyway, because the cars have radios anyway, so you dismantle them. I still need bits and bobs. I need to build a bookshelf, really. But I uh, haven't got high enough level to level in carpentry yet. So I have to wait. I was reading cooking, but I don't know where I put the f fucking book. Oh, it's probably in the car, isn't it? Ugh. is where did I fucking put it? It might pay just to preemptively read first aid one just in case. Still need to finish off securing this place as well actually putting some fences up so the zombies can't just walk in. It's very unlikely they will, but um, now my bloody luck they actually will. 
Right, let's quickly just start reading this. Shouldn't need it. I don't like doing the first aid. Because obviously if you, if you have to use first aid, it means you've been attacked. So ideally I'd never need to use the bloody skill. But then I suppose if I do have to, I'd rather get the most out of it. Slowly, let's do it sped up. I've never caught a single animal on this game. Obviously, fishing, but never like with the bloody traps and all that nonsense. It just seems possible but then I'm sure it's not right I don't know how long the it's still 18 so the power should last for a while right everyone thank you for watching um, yeah so please feel free to leave a comment on your views on the NPC situation if they if well your views on NPCs, whether you think they will or will not put them in, how they could put them in. Just yeah. Please leave a comment if you uh if you wanna have a chat about it. Sorry about that break, I will try and uh hopefully edit that break out of it. Because I was gone for a good five, ten minutes I think, so I'll try and clip that out, but if not I might have to leave it in. I'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you all for watching. You'll take it steady, and I will see you next time. Ta-da!